Hey, this is Lance. I often get a question about with WeVideo, how can I do just a simple project? And a lot of times what's a great way to use WeVideo for is to just have kids report about their learning. And so if you have a project that you're doing in class, it's a hands-on project and you need them to report about what they've been doing, just simply use the camera and have them take some pictures, import them into WeVideo. So that way you can create a quick slideshow with a voiceover. So we're gonna create a slideshow with a voiceover using the camera from the Chromebook. So I already took some pictures. I'm gonna open up my camera here, hit my launcher. My camera app is right here. If you can't find it, you can hit this arrow and drag it up and then you can see the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and open it here. It'll pop open and I have mixed feelings about the camera that's in the Chromebook. Uh, I like it, but at the same time to download a, any pictures is a little bit of a pain. So I'm gonna go over here to the bottom right to my gallery because I already took some pictures and I need to put these pictures on my Chromebook. So I'm going to click on the first one. I'm gonna hold down control. And as I'm holding down control and I click on each one, it allows me to select all these pictures from this project. And the next thing I need to do is hit this download button or the save to disk button. And it's gonna ask me where I wanna put them. Now I could easily save these to my Google Drive or I could easily just save these to the downloads folder. Either way would be appropriate. Um, for time's sake, I'm just going to keep them in my downloads folder because once I upload them to WeVideo, they'll be in my media folder. I'm not really worried about it at all as far as where it's stored. Um, and you can create a folder here in your, your downloads folder. These are all just temporary files. So once uh, you start running out of space on your Chromebook, they'll go away. But I'm not worried about it because they're going to be in my WeVideo account. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new folder. I'm going to call this video project and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So that way it keeps it. I'm going to double click on the folder so that way I can open the folder up and I'm going to hit open down here. And what that's going to do is it's going to take all those pictures that I just grabbed from the gallery on my camera and it's going to place them into that folder in my downloads folder. And that works the same way if you click on my drive. Either way is appropriate. OK. The next thing I'm going to do is now in, that I'm in Wii Video is I'm going to create a new video edit. You can do that from the Projects tab as well. Um, or what you could do is upload your media straight to the media folder. Lots of different routes we could go right now, but I'm just going to hit Create New. I'm just going to show you one way instead of all the multiple avenues that this could become. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Done, get a new project going here. And I'm going to create a folder. And to create a folder in WeVideo, you actually do a right click or a two finger click on this space outside of folders and other things. And you can create a new folder here. I'm going to call this photo slide show, just for an example. Hit create. And it'll create my folder for me. And it probably put it at the end. There it is. So it's my last folder here. I'm going to open it up. And I need to put these pictures in there. So I'm going to hit the upload icon here or the import media icon, I should say. You have a couple of options. If you did save them in Google Drive, you could share them there. But I'm just going to use the browse to select button and it'll find my files app. Um, this is handy if you did store them in Google Drive regardless, because you can actually pull that up from the My Drive button if you saved them in Google Drive. But my videos project is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. And now I have all these pictures that I can choose from. And if I want to select all of them, I can actually do so by clicking on the first one, holding down control and just clicking on each one. There's lots of different ways we could do this. There's actually faster ways we could do this, but I'm just sticking with the control button because I already showed you that. So hold down control on your, your Chromebook or your PC and you can click on each item. Now I'm going to hit open. It's going to upload all these items and put them in my account. And that didn't take very long. All right. Now, right now, I'm in something called timeline mode. I love timeline mode because it allows you to do layering. Uh, if your video editor looks different, you can switch between storyboard mode and timeline mode here. So I can see I'm in timeline mode right now because it doesn't let me select it. Storyboard mode is just a different option. And it's just a kind of a different video editor. It's much more like Windows Movie Maker, if that's what you're familiar with. Um, so either way, I'm going to start with this. The next thing I'm going to do is I need a nice little title to start out with. And I'm going to grab a hold of the text option here. And I'm going to put in a nice motion tile or something uh, because I think they're pretty cool. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a hold of one of these. I just click and drag it down into 
the video one. That's my first layer. And to edit this, so right now I have this playhead right here. I can see what it says. It just says upper, middle, and lower. And if I want to change that text, I just double click, not two fingers, one finger, two times, double click on it. It opens up the attributes of that element. So any element that you want to edit, you can open it up by double clicking on it. That changes attributes. So I have a couple of attributes that I can change here. I can change the text and I can also move it around or scale it down if I want to. So I'm going to change the text here. You can call it whatever you want and you can even edit the colors. It's really cool. All right, so I have purple and yellow, my first slideshow. You can even adjust the fonts and you can even adjust the font sizes if you switch these to manual and you can make those adjustments as you wish. So now this is what my video looks like so far. And it's just a title at first. It kind of flies in like that. So very cool options within WeVideo as far as making a great production. I'm gonna point out down at the bottom, you have a nice little zooming option. Uh, this helps you pinpoint specific things that you need to change and you can just click on the magnifying glass or you can use this slider. I find it's easier to control if you use the magnifying glass typically. Right now I'm at zero seconds. That's exactly where I need my video to start. I need to go back and get my pictures though. So my pictures are actually stored over here that I went to the text option here, but all my media is over here on this, this file folder here with a star. And so I can grab all these pictures and drag them into the timeline. And so I'm just gonna grab these guys like so. So I'm gonna zoom this back out so I can see my whole timeline. And so now when I play it, I could hit the play button here, but an easier way is to just use the space bar on my keyboard and it plays like so. Kind of fun, huh? So it's gonna go through each picture, nothing fancy. Looks like each picture is roughly about, oh, five seconds or so, if you're looking at the timing there. And it's just switching between each one. I'll go ahead and stop it. All right, so let's say I wanna make an adjustment as far as I want to maybe have some background music. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the audio option here, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab some music. They have some different options here. They have free options, they also have in my school district, we pay for it. So because of that, I'm going to use some premium music. Might as well take advantage of it. And this is all royalty free, so you don't have to worry about uh, breaking copyright or anything like that. And I'm going to go ahead and play it. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, that's kind of fun. And if I want to trim this down and make it so that way it matches my slideshow, I'm going to take this playhead like so, move it to the end. I have my audio selected there. I'm going to hit the scissors and it actually cuts it. So now I have two pieces of that audio clip. And to get rid of this one, I can just click on this trash can after I click on it. And it goes away like so. Okay, so now I have some fun audio. I can even do a voiceover on this, which is really, really fun. Um, so to do a voiceover, I'm gonna go back to the beginning and I'm also going to go back to my media folder. And in my media folder, I can actually do a voice over here. So it's a voice recorder. It may ask you to use your microphone the first time you use it. So you're gonna hit allow. You can choose to preview it. You're gonna to wanna to preview it so that way you can see it here. And you're also gonna to wanna to mute your audio so that way you don't hear the video or hear any sounds that are going on while it is playing. Um, you just want to see it. And so while it is voice recording, what it's going to do is it's going to allow me to narrate my photo slideshow. So I'm going to hit the microphone. Our project was really awesome. What we had to do is we were studying gravity and velocity, and we had to quickly put together using all kinds of construction paper and tape. We only had so many materials and we had to create a marble roller coaster. And through that, we were able to repeatedly test over and over and determine whether or not our roller coaster would actually work. I hit stop. Once I hit stop, you can uh, adjust the volume level. You can trash it and start it over. 
I'm going to hit the check mark and it's going to upload my media. And what's nice is that it's actually putting it in the same media folder with all my pictures because I was already in that folder. I'm going to scroll down and you'll see that I have my audio clip right here. Um, and at any time you can adjust your audio clip. If you just want to trim that off altogether, you don't want that background sound going on. You can do that. I can trim this side over here so I don't get any clicks or any extras that I don't need. And at any time I can also trim off any pieces that I don't need. So here's what I have so far. Let's play it. Now I have a little bit of a problem. My voiceover is not very loud and my music is way too loud. So let's turn down. Actually, you know what? I like that the volume's loud at the beginning. So I'm actually going to use my scissors. You'll see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to trim right about here. And I'm going to hit the cut button right there. I'm actually going to click on that item and I'm going to grab a hold of this uh, fade in option. And it allows me to adjust the volume way down like so. And if I wanted to be more precise, what I could have done is I could have moved it over and let it fade in appropriately. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on this line here, and it's going to let me do a fade out. So I'm going to fade out, uh, not the, f the beginning part. I'm going to keep that at zero. I want it to start right away. But I want it to fade out, and not only that, but I want it to also, I'm going to override where it fades out. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm getting a little in tight quarters. I'm going to grab a hold of this dot. I'm going to try and move it up if it lets me. But I think my cursor is actually causing the problem. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a fade in to kind of bring it back, which would be kind of fun. So I'm kind of figuring out a way to, to make it work. Um, I don't like it as well. And then the other thing I need to do is zoom back out and watch it again. And we'll see how this turns out. So here we go. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so that's pretty cool. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to also add some fun transitions in. And between each one, each picture, I'm going to add this transition. And all you do is you click on the transition option and you can grab a hold of any transition that you want. And just drag it in like so. And then if I want the same message at the end, I wouldn't have to redo that. I can actually just copy it. I'm going to hit control C and I'm going to move the playhead over like so. And I'm going to hit control V. Oh, it says it can't be placed there because I don't have enough room. Move the playhead over even more control V and then it places it in and I could put another transition right here. Actually, I think this one will be better. You can replace transitions just by dragging a new one over it. So let's see how my video turned out now. Our project was really awesome. What we had to do is we were studying gravity and velocity, and we had to quickly put together using all kinds of construction paper and tape. We only had so many materials. We had to create a marble roller coaster. And through that, we were able to repeatedly test over and over Okay, that'll work. So now, when you're all finished, you can just click on finish, like so. Put in your title. Hit set. Choose your resolution. I'm going to choose 720. And you'll also want to make sure that you choose the Google Drive icon. Now, your Google Drive icon, if you're a student, will be over here instead. And click on finish. The reason I'm going to do that is because what it'll do is it'll take the video and put it straight into Google Drive, and it creates a folder for me and it'll be in the folder titled We Video. So it makes it super simple. I'm gonna click on Finish. It's gonna process. When it starts processing, I can do whatever. I can leave this page. I can close my Chromebook. It's not gonna affect it by any means.